question? Hi. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a Bitcoin miner. And for this we need a couple of things. We need a Bitcoin miner itself. For that we have an Avalon 6. We need to have a controller and we need to have a network. So let's see how fast we can do it. We also need to have a hardware platform and then we need software sitting on top of that and we need an internet connection. So, first things first. We got our Avalon 6 miner. This is the hardware platform and it's an ASIC card. So let's just unbox this and see what we have here. We open it up. This is the expensive component. Alright, here is our Avalon 6. You can see it's an Avalon 6. And what this has is it's got two connections here. We bought the Avalon 6, even though it was imported into the United States by Block C, we bought it from Zoomhash. Ah, here's the other component, the cable. All right, so we need to have the miner, the Avalon 6. We have a cable to connect it, and we have what's called a Raspberry Pi. This is the controller for the miner. This controller can, can control up to 10 miners. And this, although we only have one, and this is, is a Raspberry Pi, and it connects to the internet, and then it also has some USB ports. So let's set all this up first. All right, so oh, the other thing that we need is a power supply to power the miner. All right, so that's, that's easy. Let's, let's get the power supply going, do the unboxing here. Lo and behold, we have a power supply. This is a 1200 watt power supply. And we have a cable for it. So we can put that away. And, all right. So power supply, we need a power cord. Let's see, here's the on off switch. Here's the power cord that goes in there. We'll want to plug that in. Then we see there's a number of cords coming out of the power supply. And we have, we have four uh, points here to power the board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the, power, the cord on the power supply. And you see it's got, here it is, two six pin connectors. So we're gonna take the board and we're gonna power it with the two six pin connectors. So we just plug these in, lickety split. There's one. And then here's the second one. should just click in securely and then we have to go and in the bag there's another cord so this goes this is an 8 pin so it goes into here let's put that into there and then we're gonna connect this once again to the other side so we're gonna connect it here Let's just see, that's connected there, and then we'll connect it here, okay. So that's our power supply and our miner. Now here's our Raspberry Pi, so what we need to do is we need to connect this to a power supply. So we want to plug this into here. We want to take this and you see we've got a little tiny micro USB so we hook that up. Then we need to connect the miner to the Raspberry Pi so we're going to use one of our other USB ports here and then this piece 
we plug this in here and then this is a micro USB and we plug that in here okay we're almost ready to mine we need a few things we've got some power so we want to power up the Raspberry Pi and then we also need to power up our miner so we'll come over here and we power the power supply that then powers the miner and we need to have a network connection so we then go and we have our network connection for the miner or for the controller and the other part we need is we need to turn on the power supply so if I turn on the power supply and the switch on the back, you see nothing happens. What we what we need to do is we actually have to jump pins the green pin. You see the green wire here and one of the black wires. So that's the number four. One, two, three, four. We're just going to use a paper clip here to do the jumping, we push that in. And then any one of those black wires. So four, five, six, seven. So let's use the number seven. And he goes right in there like that. Now we've jumped the power supply, so theoretically, and look, we now have, we now have our lights going on the communication between the miner between the controller and the miner. Now let's turn the switch. We should see this fan go on and this go on. And lo and behold, we're running. Okay. Is the miner is going through a startup phase to test everything. So it's testing its fan and it's testing its communications. Now what we need to do is go configure the software on the miner and on the, we need a wallet, a Bitcoin wallet, and we also need to have a uh, pool to join, a uh, bit mining pool. And we're going to use Slush's pool for that. And now the hardware platform is in place. Now what we need to do is configure it all. So for that, we have to go over to the computer.